Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Floor Planner. My name is Bob, and as I always say, I'm here for customer success. I'm here for you all as you're developing your skill and technique and utilizing Floor Planner. And today, a little video clip to go ahead and talk about the new tools and features that have occurred for November 2024 and a little bit of additional information for December because there's some big news and some offers that are actually for the month of December. So I wanted to throw them in to this particular recording for you all and really, really big attention, certainly for the basic free users out there. And we'll get to that in just a moment. Um, let's start with, you know, where do you find the lists of these new features and updates as they occur inside Floor Planner's platform? Because there's really nothing you have to do. It happens automatically for you. So if you log into your Floor Planner account and go up to the Dashboard tab and the upper left-hand corner, select the Dashboard tab. And on the right-hand side, you'll have right up here where it says New Features, you can select the more button up there and it will take you to your link, which will showcase the new features, a list. Uh, because Floor Planner does keep evolving and these new features and tools as they come available are presented here so you know what's new inside your platform. Where we left off with our last recording was we were talking about the basic colors for generic items. You can scroll backwards in time and see all of the previous updates, certainly, through this link, and maybe something you might have missed maybe along the way. For today, we've got a handful, about, mm, about like four items to be talking about today. So let's just take a peek at what's occurred since the last time we met. Um, there have been new windows. There have been new background scenes. There's a really cool new extension of the groups feature, uh, which may be a little new um, to basic users out there. And also some really, really big news um, for this December update, um, talking about the basic accounts and new features. Uh, really, really cool. I'm, we'll get to that one in just a second. So let's go back and start with where we left off. And let's talk about the new windows and different colors for frames. As you know, the team over in the Netherlands, the programmers are doing really great efforts to go ahead and give you additional development ideas. Um, and certainly new windows has been on our library of things to do for a while, and it's uh, active. You're also going to see some new doors coming, but for right now, the new windows out there and talking about the colors and changes that you can make with those. Um, around 80 new window types. Um, let's go ahead and actually go into Floor Planner for a second and go into one of my projects and take a peek at where those new windows are located. So when you're logged into your project, my project happens to have some multiple designs out there. And we'll just go to one of my particular designs It'll make it a little bit easier to explain what we have. Okay, so on the left-hand side, when you're in your 2D view, you can go over to the hammer up there uh, for construction. And inside there, certainly this is where we're drawing our walls and our, our uh, walls, ceilings, floors, et cetera, but placing doors and placing windows. So if you go to placing windows on the left-hand sidebar, you will find a whole new library extension, um, 205 results out there of libraries that have libraries of different categories also in the pull down menu up here that you can select from. So if we were going to add a new window to this condo building, kind of crazy, but we'll just do this for example's sake, I'll take this rectangular segmented window down here, a new style that we did not have before. I'll just drag and drop it into our wall feature down there. Of course, you can select the window as we have done previously. As you know, you can go to the settings of any of the doors or windows, but for the windows, you can change the width and the height and change the sill height and its position out there. Uh, yet, you also have over here the color of the frame. Um, typically, it's been white. In the pull-down menu now, you have a full extensive menu of colors. Of course, very fashionable these days has been this 
uh, kind of Mediterranean black out there has been a really cool feature. So if we go out to our 3D view real fast, take a peek at what we created, then we go out to our dollhouse view and zoom extents over here. Take a peek at the window that we just created over here. Very, very awesome. Um, really nice new style out there for sure. And I'm just going to take that window for right now. Just go ahead and delete it. And let's see what else we have on our list up here in our updates. Mm, the new background scenes. You know that we've had a standard set of background scenes with horizon lines in there. Um, they still exist inside your platform, yet there's now over 100 new background scenes that you can utilize. Um, you can still also still upload your own custom JPEG, PNG image as an actual view. But this new library of views, I think you're going to have a lot of fun with. It'll give you a lot of uh, optional views outside your window. Let's go ahead and take a peek at that also. Go back to our 3D. And we're in our first person view, obviously. Um, and this camera named Living Room as a standard view outside of it right now. So when you're creating a camera, left-hand side, you can see there's the name camera, as there's the edit pencil up here. If you ever want to rename a camera, you can do so. And the camera settings, yes, but the light and scene for the view outside the window. If you go to light and scene of this particular camera, named camera, you will find out there are different views that you can select. That was a custom view that was worked on previously. But if I change that background scene, to something otherwise, we could go ahead and use the big city, medium town, suburban neighborhood, holiday and vacation. Uh, nature is really cool. I love these. These are really cool for some generic views uh, outside your windows. And also what we were used to previously are the dynamic scenes and they do still exist inside your platform. So if it's just a matter of use the scene, that was the scene we were used to previously, Notice that the horizon line is always following the camera height, which is typically your eye level, which uh, looks most natural. And Floor Planner does that automatically for you. But if we want to go to something a little bit more elaborate, maybe we go down to uh, holiday and vacation scenes and get a different view outside of our window. Um, yeah, a little, a little close up down there. But we can definitely go into like the big city get your city view outside and as you move around inside the space you can use your arrow keys to move forward and take advantage of that view that's outside your window and it's sunshine and you can also still use the sundial in the lower right hand corner to be repositioning not only the sun but also the direction of the view outside your window so let's go ahead and set that back to one of my dynamic scenes as we were used to previously, using my arrow keys just to back up, take a look inside our room. Let's take a look at our list again on our items out there. Groups. Okay, this may be new to some, um, possibly our basic users out there that weren't used to seeing the fact that the group feature even existed, but it's been extended. The groups tool is now available uh, in every floor planner subscription. So as you, you can now create groups in every floor planner account. A group is a collection, obviously, of objects that can be stored and named and reused inside your platform. This can come in handy, certainly, if you had a table and specific chairs you want to have with this assortment and you wanted to reuse that, you can actually create that as a group and save it. Um, I find this really, really awesome for when we start talking about accessorizing inside the room um, on your shelf units. Maybe you want to put together a certain assortment of accessories for a shelf. It could be a picture frame, a plant, a candle. Um, it takes time to put those together, but maybe you could do a shelf A, shelf B, shelf C, and do different varieties of them and have these predetermined for you as a group that you can drag and drop into your platform and not have to select individual items. Uh, I think it'll be a, a great time saver. So groups can be created within the editor by selecting multiple objects, using your shift key to select those multiple objects, or even using the shift and left mouse click to drag out a selection window over those particular items. 
Um, how this is new to our basic users, our free accounts out there, um, is that you can now store up to five groups in a free account. Um, and then of course, if you want to go ahead and create more than that, you're, you're talking about being a higher level paid for subscription, starting with the plus accounts and higher. You've already had a benefit as a basic uh, free account out there to have the option to do favorites. Um, limited number, 20 favorites, favoriting your paints or favoriting your objects, um, where if you are a paid for account from a plus subscription and higher, you're able to do unlimited. But this new feature to give you an opportunity to explore uh, and utilize uh, the group feature is available to you as a limit uh, up to five free groups that you can create inside your project. So let's show you how to do that. Let's go ahead and go up to our account. I go back to 2D real quick. So if I wanted to maybe have some specific object, maybe this dining room suite, uh, the specific chairs and this particular table, I can just click and I can hold my shift key and click again and click again, select my table, chair and chair and chair. With those items selected, um, we can go over now on the left-hand side on this uh, sidebar. You can hit the Create Group button. Hit Create Group. You can name that group. I'll call it Bob Dining for today. And say Submit. Now, what's occurred is we've just made a group. Uh, this group can be reused to find where that group is located. Just go on the left-hand side as you typically would for your objects and go ahead and go to your objects tab and you know, objects and categories, brands, et cetera. But there's also groups as a tag up here at the top. If you select the groups tag up there, you will find that in fact, we have created Bob Dining and we can left click and just drag it as a group into your program and have that group utilized over and over. You can also do the same feature to go ahead and maybe you wanted all of these furnishings and all of the accessories in here to be selected, to be reused. Um, you can hold your shift key and left mouse click and drag out a selection window, select all of those items and go over here and create a group and we could name that group accordingly and reuse that again. It's a new group feature, um, certainly a extension now that's been offered to the free and basic accounts out there uh, with the limitation of, of five currently um, to get you started and give you a chance to explore those. Um, the last on our updates I'm going to read this exactly as it's noted because this is really big and, and quite an offering that we don't typically do. Um, so this is really uh, exciting news for December. So, you know, big December update for basic accounts. Um, there's also some additional information out there uh, for the other accounts, as you'll see them noted when you log into your specific accounts. Uh, but we're adding some new great features um, to your basic and free accounts and are making some changes to the pricing structure of our platform to ensure that we can keep uh, a great free product uh, still out there for our users. Um, we're extending the favorite and group features to all users now, all six different subscriptions, including the basic and free accounts. As you've always been able to, as a basic and free account, being able to generate 20 different favorites, and now you can generate five custom groups um, that you can reuse for your projects. Uh, besides the new features that have been extended out here, we're also uh, putting a limitation in place. This is the new news. Um, from now on, every account, uh, your basic free accounts, are going to be limited to five free projects. Those are the SD lights that we've talked about, the different project levels. Um, you can create as many projects as you want, but every new project after five free projects uh, will be need to require credits to pay for them. Um, as a basic free account, you can do a pay-as-you-go. You can actually purchase minimum 
um, credits. I believe it starts with a five credit base that you can go ahead and purchase. So you are still able to go ahead and create additional projects uh, if you needed to through that feature until you get to a point that you're ready to upgrade your subscription to one of the paid for subscription levels. Um, these free projects, however, have more functionality um, than the previous uh, free projects. Now, those five free projects, you have the additional benefit to be able to create up to three floors, three stories of a multi-story project. Um, in case you have more projects in your account, so you already have more projects existing inside your account, uh, don't worry about it. They will still be fully accessible. Um, Let's see, we feel five projects with three floors should be enough uh, for pretty much every casual user. And if you're using Floor Planner professionally, we think you'll be better served, certainly, uh, via one of our reasonably priced paid plans. Anyway, as I always note, if you're using Floor Planner for professional purposes, the pro account subscription is probably the best for you. It's extremely cost effective. Um, but the additional features in there for branding and templates and title blocks and watermarks to be your branding, not floor planner branding, uh, will certainly uh, serve more of the professional needs for your business. So to make uh, more attractive to upgrade to one of the paid plans, um, we've also add, added a number of deals um, that will be only available during the coming month, which would be the month of December, which is why we're kind of giving you a sneak peek in this recording right now, because it is December. And I want to make sure you are aware that this is in existence. It's being noted as you go ahead and log into your platform. There are windows describing this additional information. As noted here, you can find these new offerings um, within your specific account. So take advantage of this month. This is a, a wonderful December offering. Again, um, to my recollection, I've never seen this happen before with Floor Planner. So I think it's a really, really super opportunity. And for those of you that are other accounts, paid for subscription levels, do also look for your notations uh, for any special offers also for this particular month of December. And with that, let me just say happy holidays to you all. Um, hope you all have a magical holiday season. And I will see you on the next update. Till then, have a great day. Thank you.